गुड मॉर्निंग किड्स हेयर वी आर अगेन विद द अनदर वीडियो ऑफ द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ सिविक्स दैट इज फॉर्म्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ओके इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद द टर्म कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ओके एंड इन दिस टॉपिक विल बी डीलिंग विद कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ओनली ओके विल डीलिंग विद the types of constitutions in the next video okay so let us start the topic with a very beautiful thought with the new day comes new strength and new thoughts okay so with each day we always have a new strength in us and a new thought in our mind Isn't that great? So, with these great thoughts, let's move on to the topic forms of government. As I have already told, we will be dealing with the topic constitution. Okay, only constitution. Let us see about what is constitution. So, constitution is a set of laws which define. how a state or country is governed okay and these rules state that distribution of powers and authority within the country what these laws do these rules state the distribution of government and authority within the country and the constitution also states the limit to this power and authority all the institutions of the government work within the provisions of the constitution okay whatever the provisions are given in the constitution it is the duty of the institutions of the government to follow each and every single provision and there are different types of constitutions written and unwritten rigid and flexible we'll be dealing with these types of constitutions in our next video today we'll be covering only constitution okay moving on to the next slide the constitution of a country is a special type of law as we have already discussed that a constitution is a set of laws okay and that type of law document it is already uh known that it is a document okay because it is a set of laws so there it must be a document it is a law document that tells how its government is supposed to work it tells us other things also what are they the very first how the country's leaders are to be chosen and how long they get to stay in the office suppose in our country we have chosen mr narendra modi as our country's leader isn't it so there is a systematic way of choosing our country's leader as well and what is the tenure of the government of the leader's power in the office so it is it has also been stated in the constitution okay the way how the country's leaders are chosen and the tenure of their office the next one how new laws are made and old laws are to be changed or removed based on the law every year we see that certain bills are passed by the government isn't it this year you must have uh, the last year you must have seen a heated uh, topic was ca and rc so these laws are made how these laws are made and how old laws are changed as you see that the certain laws are there which keep on changing through amendments okay like uh, posco act and all so posco i think that you may not be uh, aware of this particular term okay. so the posco act is a protection of children okay from sexual offences act so these are the uh, this is the act for especially for the children okay so these laws how these laws are amended how uh, we see 
changes in acts everything is written in the constitution okay what kind of people are allowed to vote now there are certain categories also who are allowed to vote in certain categories are there who are not allowed to vote this things has already been have already been written in the constitution the next one what are the rights they have guaranteed means constitution what rights have been guaranteed to the citizens of a country through the constitution of that country okay and how the constitution can be changed everything is written in the constitution now if there is a constitution then there there must be certain functions of a constitution let's see what are the functions the functions are it projects the form of government in the country okay a constitution is has a great importance in having a form of government in the country okay and it is because of the constitution there are different types of government in each country for example you have already read about the forms of government democratic authoritarian unitary federal okay so presidential parliamentary so everything depends on the constitution and as already said that these that the constitution guarantees the citizens with certain rights okay the third one it directs the states in making legislation okay the states also is uh, also are directed by the constitution for making laws okay legislation means making laws and the constitution also lays out the procedures for the functioning of several departments like the administrations the legislation the execution of government machinery everything there is a separation of powers also it provides independence to each organs that is the legislative the executive and the judiciary it also upholds the sovereignty of a nation now you must be thinking the term sovereignty let me tell you what is the meaning of the term sovereign sovereignty is the full right on and power of a governing body over itself okay without any interference from outside sources or outside countries without any interference of a foreign country okay so what uh, sovereign means sovereignty means the right of the government to have complete control without in interference from foreign powers okay without interference from foreign powers i have already given you in the assignment about writing the preamble okay in preamble you will see this term sovereign do try to find out the meaning of each term which is there in the preamble that is sovereign secular socialist okay these words are very important okay we as a citizen of a country we must know the meaning of these words which are somehow inscribed in the preamble which is the introduction to our constitution okay suppose if you are reading a story book you will see there is a summary okay or a overview which tells that what is there in the summary what is there in the story okay the same way every constitution starts with the preamble okay the preamble is the introduction to the constitution and do learn the preamble because being a citizen of a country a citizen must be knowing the preamble of the country to which he or she belongs the next function of the constitution is that it acts as a check in mal administration and misuse of power what if somebody misuses their power okay so there are certain laws made in the constitution as well for each and every single uh, person in the government having the authority and power okay if he or she misuses the power or the position there are certain rules to check on their violation of the rules okay and the way they exploit the rules which have been already inscribed in the constitution if they violate the procedures or the provisions given in the constitution then they are subjected to punishment okay and there are certain rules also which have been inscribed in the constitution to 
punish them okay or to remove them from the position which they are having the next one it provides for accountability of government to people to the country means the government okay the government is answerable to the citizens of its country it is very important for a government to answer each and every single question about the functioning and the programs which a government is possessing or launching okay and accountability also means to have a trust of its people okay the last one it provides the judicial review in case of laws violating the supreme procedure established by a law what happens sometimes as i have already discussed that if somebody misuses the power or the violates the law which has been already prescribed in the constitution there are certain punishments for them and for their removals so that is what is judicial review let us see the word judicial review as i have already said that somebody or someone who violates the constitution okay they have to go through the judicial review judicial review is a process under which executive or legislative actions are subjected to review by the judiciary means the courts okay and we all know that we are having several courts in our country the apex court is the supreme court and below it in states we are having the high courts the highest court in a state is known as high court and as well as the subordinate courts okay so we are having courts in our country to review okay the actions of the executive and the other organs of the government also if they are found violating the laws already prescribed in the constitution a judicial review okay a, co a court with authority like supreme court in india we are having supreme court as the supreme uh, authority of uh, judiciary okay so the court with authority may invalidate laws or acts and governmental actions that are incompatible okay suppose if an executive wants to if the executive wants to amend a law okay and they are saying that it is for the welfare of the country so first the judiciary undergoes with the law or whatever change or amendment the government wants to do if the government if the judiciary sees that the law which has been decided by the government to impose is not somehow for the welfare of the citizens of the country then the judiciary has the power to invalidate that law for being unlawful okay so it is very important in a country having constitution to have a judicial review okay in india a judicial review is a review of government decisions done by supreme court of india okay and what i have already discussed that a court with authority for judicial review may invalidate the laws the act or governmental actions which violates the basic features of the constitution okay so with this point with this last point i'll put an end to the topic also regarding you know, whatever we have discussed in the topic the functions of our constitution what are the functions of the constitution it is very necessary to learn about the constitution first i'll be uploading the next video tomorrow in which we'll be discussing about written and unwritten constitutions okay have a nice day and do write the notes do go through the videos it is very necessary for you guys to see the videos first and then for writing the notes okay in notes i have summarized the chapters and they i have also included the exercise questions along with the answers okay in this video uh, i'll be sharing you a link of an app okay that is ngm e learning app you have to download that app to access
to all the video classes and the notes of each subjects being provided to you by the teachers. Okay, have a good day.